Hello students, today in our botany session of sexual reproduction and flowering plants, we will be dealing the concept of outbreeding devices. Probably in our previous videos, we dealt about self-pollination, cross-pollination, all those stuff. By this time, you could have known that the plants always prefer for cross-pollination. Why? Because it gets more varieties, right? Whereas in self-pollination, we won't get much varieties at all. So that plant opt for what? Cross-pollination. So, how does a plant prepare itself for a cross-pollination? We'll be dealing this as an outbreeding devices. Now, there are some strategies where, uh, say for example, we use a word called as protandry, proto, primitive, andry, andrisium. The protandry is that the andrisium matures first where the gynesium does not. If so means, the plant has to go for what pollination? Cross-pollination. So, we'll be dealing these steps uh, in detail now. And this is also one concept which is very important in terms of your NEET exams preparation. So, majority of the flowering plants produces, produces hermaporites, that is bisexual flowers, and the pollen grains are likely to come in contact with the stigma of the flowers. Of course, you know, right, the pollen grains will come in contact with the stigma. But continuous self-pollination results in inbreeding depression. You know what is inbreeding depression, right? keep on having the same again and again breeding with the same plants will not produce any varieties and we say it as inbreeding depression. So to overcome this, plants always prepare for the other set of devices to opt for what? Cross-pollination. The thing is that diachogamine. What do you mean by diachogamine? Flowering plants have developed many devices or adaptations or controversies to discourage self-pollination and to encourage what? Cross-pollination. Why to discourage self-pollination? Because you get what? Inbreeding depression. So in some species, the pollen release and the stigma respectively are not synchronized. So the release of pollen, the grains and the stigma are not synchronized actually. So that is basically called as diachogamy where the, the release of the pollen grain and the stigma is not on the same time. So that is going to be the diachogamy. Yes, the pollen grains mature first or the Gynesium matures first. Protandry, as I told you, right, either it is the pollen grain matures first or it is the gynesium mature. I mean, either the andrisium matures first or the gynesium matures. For example, either the pollen grain is released before the stigma becomes receptive, protandry, sunflower, proto is primitive, andry is andrisium. Or the stigma becomes presumptive much before than the release of pollen grain. Protogyne, example, datura and solanum, solanum tuberosum, solanum species. So that's protandry and protogyne. See here, protandry. See the picture here, ma. See the picture here. Here, the anther shedding pollen with the stigma closed. See, stigma open, pollen grains are shed. Can you understand the topic, what we are saying? In this, already the Pollen anthers shedding pollen, the stigma is closed. Whereas here, again, see the stigma open, whereas anthers started shedding. Yes. So, protogyne, whether, uh, say, for example, here the first day of flowers, the stigma is receptive, where the anthers dehiscent. So, again, there has not been synchronized. So, that is going to be protogyne and protantry. So, hercogamy. What do you mean by hercogamy? In some other species, the anther and the stigma are placed at different positions. That is, the pollen cannot come in contact with the stigma of the same flower. So, it is placed in different areas where the morphologically different, I can say morphologically or anatomically different. So, hercogamy. What is that? Whereas the anther and stigma are placed in what? Different positions so that the pollen grains cannot come in contact with the stigma. Ex example, hibiscus. You can have this where they are uh, anthers and others are extremely placed at different positions. Both these devices prevent what gamete? Autogamy. Autogamy is what? Self-pollination. Heterostyly. What is that? The third device is to prevent inbreeding depression is that 
the different heights of the styles of the flowers of the same species heteros different styli is that so that so the third is to prevent there are different heights of the styles you know what is a style is about right so stigma style and the filament i mean sigma style and the ovule so ovary so different heights of the styles of the same species example oxalis primula old and lydia right again your various heights see here the stigma the stigmas of various heights which has been followed by this one which is of various heights which is over here again there is of various heights see here it is here it is over here and here it is over here see there there and top self incompatibility the fourth device is to prevent inbreeding depression is of what self sterility that is self incompatibility abutulon next declining this is a genetic mechanism which prevents self pollination from fertilizing the ovules by inhibiting the pollen germination or pollen tube growth in the pistil so declining is that of what this is a genetic mechanism which prevents the what self pollination from fertilizing the ovules by inhibiting the pollen grains or the pollen tube growth of the plant another device is that to prevent self pollination is the production of unisexual flowers what is unisexual male or female either male or female if both male and female flowers are present on the same plant such as castor and maize monaceous it prevents autogamy but not genetogamy what does genetogamy mean come on recollect the previous videos what is genetogamy the flower the anther of one flower fuses with the stigma of an another flower of a what plant same plant so see here if male and female flowers are present on the same plant is it clear they are not specifying the male and female flowers are present in one flower no the male and female flowers are present are present in the same plant yes such as castor they prevent what ma autogamy but they cannot prevent what genetogamy because you have the male flower you have the female flower now recollect genetogamy the anthers of one flower fuses with the stigma of an another flower of the same plant in several species such as papaya male and female flowers are present on the different plants that is each plant is either male or female that is going to be dioecious this condition prevents both autogamy and genetogamy because they are just like you have a male flower separately you have a male or female plant separately in that case is autogamy also does not occur genetogamy also does not occur so today in our class we dealt about the concept of outbreeding devices so try to recollect the points what we dealt what was that heterostyly protandry protogyny yes so which type of prevents only autogamy but genetogamy will have occur there are some type of plants which are which stops both or which prevents both autogamy and genetogamy probably in our next class we'll be dealing some interesting topic like this thank you students